What do you think is really critical uh, for ELs? What 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 are what are some? Is there three or four critical things that if if you were talking to a new teacher who had a room full of of English learners in her classroom, and and they are grounded in the science of reading as well, but what what do you feel would just be a really important things to remember uh, when educating English learners? Well, a couple of things. First of all, like I've said, what the research shows is that they that they learn the same. However, there need to be adjustments made, and so make sure that you're doing those things, really building, bringing in their background, making connections for them, using a lot of repetition um, and so forth, lots of opportunities to practice and apply not just the new language, but the new concepts and so forth. And then um, secondly, there is research that um, emphasizes the importance of oral language development. And I think in schools, even with the best of intentions, teachers sort of think that they're going to pick up the language just by virtue of being around right. English all the time. But, you know, we're all in situations and settings sometimes where people around us are speaking another language, whether it's a restaurant, you know, an ethnic restaurant or whatever. We're not really picking up any of that language. <laughs> uh, I, I, that's a very good point. I can, I've, I've been in that situation where I hear someone speaking another language and I don't have a just being there to hearing it does not help me. You yeah. Know? Sometimes I say it's, it's English noise for our multilingual learners. They are hearing mm -hmm. a lot of words around them, but it, there's no yeah. connection. So it, there needs to be explicit instruction in oral language skills combined with structured practice, not just sort of haphazard. Oh, now turn and talk and practice that there needs to be some structure to it so that we're ensuring that these students are really learning these skills. And everything you say, I'm sitting there and in my mind, you know, that visual of, of Scarborough's rope that sort uh -huh. of identifies all the fibers, you know, into science of reading. And you you said things like, background knowledge. You said things like vocabulary, language structures, you know, all of those are identified key pieces to the science of reading. So truly, mm -hmm. I feel like you're right. What, what you're doing and what is good for an English learner is rooted in that, in that evidence and, and in that research. So that's, that's and amazing. really that word recognition part is the part that everybody learns the same, the font, mm -hmm. all of those word recognition skills. It's that upper part that gets a lot more, you know, f distinct in terms of, uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's not, it's much more complex, the building the background or making those kinds of connections. Um, learning language structures and all of the complexities that go into sort of that upper part of the rope. And that's where our multilingual learners are. That's where those adjustments need to be made. And that kind of attention paid to those areas in particular. Right. And, and I guess like if I took the Spanish language and compared it to English, right, the, the phonics is different, right? Yes. And so it is important to have that phonemic awareness and that explicit phonics instruction in English for that student to really be soaking in and hearing that language and seeing that connection between, you know, letter sound. Um, would you agree? Absolutely. And that's why that's like one of these adjustments, because for an English speaking student, when they finally decode, you know, mm -hmm. dog, <laughs> they know what a dog is. And so now it's like, aha, the light goes on. This word represents this concept that I'm familiar with. Whereas for an English learner, they can decode those words, dog, dog, and they can say it. But if they don't know that dog means perro, there it doesn't connect. Mm -hmm. So that's why we show a picture, a visual dog. This is a dog. And there, those are those kinds of adjustments that are absolutely critical for our multilingual learners.